Have you ever felt like you're under constant attack for your beliefs? Today, we're going to dive deep into why this happens and uncover the secret weapon that Satan doesn't want you to know about. Inspired by the teachings of Dolores Cannon, we'll explore how to harness your inner power to stay strong in your faith. By the end of this video, you'll be armed with knowledge that can transform your spiritual journey. Stay tuned. 1. Understanding the spiritual battle first, let's explore why you feel targeted. As a believer in God's teachings, you hold a significant spiritual power. This makes you a prime target for negative forces. Dolores Cannon's work often delves into the spiritual realms, revealing how negative entities aim to challenge those who are spiritually aware. These forces are keenly aware of the influence and impact a spiritually awakened individual can have on the world. By attacking you, they aim to diminish your light and hinder the positive change you can bring. These negative forces use various tactics to achieve their goals. They might create doubt in your mind, making you question the very foundations of your faith. They might sow seeds of confusion, leading you to feel lost or uncertain about your spiritual path. Isolation is another powerful tool in their arsenal. By making you feel isolated from others who share your beliefs, they hope to cut you off from the support and encouragement that comes from a faith community. The ultimate objective of these attacks is to create a barrier between you and God. They understand that a strong connection with God brings immense peace, power, and guidance. By weakening this connection, they can prevent you from experiencing the full benefits of your faith. This strategy is not just about immediate harm. It's about long-term spiritual stagnation. If they can make you consistently question your worth and your beliefs, they can keep you in a state of spiritual limbo. However, awareness of this battle is your first line of defense. Understanding that these challenges are not mere coincidences but deliberate attacks can help you stay vigilant. When you recognize the intent behind the confusion, doubt, and isolation, you can take proactive steps to reinforce your faith and strengthen your spiritual armor. By doing so, you not only protect yourself, but also enhance your ability to shine your light in the world, inspiring and uplifting others in their spiritual journeys. 2. Recognizing the Attacks These attacks can manifest in various forms, criticism, ridicule, or subtle comments that make you question your worth or beliefs. It's crucial to understand that these are not random. They are part of a deliberate strategy to weaken your spiritual connection. Dolores Cannon's insights reveal that these attacks are often orchestrated by entities that fear your spiritual awakening. When someone mocks your faith, it's more than just their opinion. It's an attempt to undermine your spiritual strength. Recognizing these tactics is the first step to overcoming them. Criticism might come from people around you, even those close to you. It could be direct or disguised as concern for your well-being. They might question your choices, values, or the time you spend on spiritual practices. This criticism is designed to make you second-guess yourself and feel insecure about your path. Ridicule is another common tactic. People might mock your beliefs, making jokes at your expense, or dismissing your faith as naive or outdated. This ridicule aims to isolate you, making you feel like an outsider. When you are made to feel foolish or different, it can create a sense of loneliness and doubt. Subtle comments can be just as damaging, if not more so, because they can be harder to identify and address. These comments might come in the form of casual remarks that chip away at your confidence or small, seemingly innocuous questions that make you doubt your experiences. These subtle digs are designed to linger in your mind slowly eroding your self-assurance and spiritual resolve. Dolores Cannon's work suggests that these negative entities orchestrate such attacks to prevent you from reaching your full spiritual potential. They know that a spiritually awakened individual is powerful and can inspire and uplift others, creating a ripple effect of positivity. By targeting you, they hope to stop this potential transformation. Recognizing these attacks is essential. When you understand that criticism 
ridicule, and subtle comments are part of a strategic effort to weaken your faith, you can respond more effectively. Instead of internalizing these attacks, you can view them as tests of your spiritual strength. This awareness allows you to stand firm in your beliefs and maintain your connection to God. Remember, the goal of these attacks is to create doubt and confusion. By staying mindful and aware, you can see through these tactics and protect your spiritual well-being. Stay strong, chosen ones, and know that recognizing and understanding these attacks is your first step towards overcoming them. 3. The Power of the Word of God Now, let's talk about your secret weapon, the Word of God. According to Dolores Cannon, the power of divine words and thoughts is immense. The Bible, for example, is not just an ancient text. It's a living, active force filled with truth, wisdom, and guidance. It can help you navigate life's challenges and resist negative influences. Hebrews 4.12 describes the Word of God as alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. This means it can cut through darkness and reveal the light of truth, helping you make wise decisions. When you're feeling weak or discouraged, reading the Bible can uplift your spirit and renew your faith. The transformative power of the Word of God lies in its ability to speak directly to your heart and mind. Each verse carries a message that can offer comfort, direction, and clarity in times of uncertainty. By engaging with the Bible regularly, you build a foundation of truth that fortifies your spirit against the lies and deceptions of negative forces. This practice equips you with spiritual tools to discern right from wrong, helping you navigate complex situations with confidence and grace. Moreover, the Word of God serves as a constant reminder of God's promises and love. Verses like Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, provide encouragement and strength, reminding you that you are never alone in your struggles. These scriptures act as a spiritual anchor, grounding you in faith and providing a sense of peace amid life's storms. Dolores Cannon emphasize that divine words are not limited to religious texts, but can also be found in inspired thoughts and affirmations. Speaking and meditating on positive, faith-filled words can transform your mindset and environment. This practice aligns your thoughts with divine truth, creating a powerful resonance that can repel negative influences and attract positive energy. In times of crisis or doubt, turning to the Word of God can be a source of profound comfort and guidance. It reassures you of God's presence and faithfulness, helping you to maintain a hopeful perspective. By immersing yourself in Scripture, you renew your mind, strengthen your spirit, and enhance your ability to face challenges with resilience and faith. Remember, the Word of God is not just for reading. It's for living. Let it guide your actions, inform your decisions, and shape your interactions with others. As you internalize its teachings, you'll find yourself more aligned with God's will, empowered to overcome adversity, and equipped to inspire and uplift those around you. Stay connected to this divine source, and you'll discover that the power of the Word of God is indeed a formidable weapon against any challenge you face. Use it wisely, and let it be the light that guides your path. 4. The Devil's Strategy of Distraction One of the primary strategies the devil employs is creating distractions in your life. He fills your days with worries and temptations, making it hard for you to focus on your spiritual growth. Dolores Cannon's teachings emphasize the importance of staying aware of these distractions. If you're constantly preoccupied with worldly concerns, you'll have less time and energy for spiritual practices like studying the Bible and praying. These distractions can slowly erode your faith, making you more susceptible to negative influences. Understanding this tactic helps you stay vigilant and prioritize your spiritual growth. Distractions come in many forms and often seem benign or even necessary. They can be as obvious as excessive work commitments, social media, and entertainment or as subtle as persistent worries about finances, health, or relationships. 
While these concerns are a part of everyday life, the devil amplifies their significance, pulling your focus away from your spiritual journey. Dolores Cannon highlights that awareness of these distractions is crucial. When you recognize that your time and energy are being diverted, you can take deliberate steps to realign your priorities. For instance, setting aside specific times for prayer, meditation, and Bible study ensures that these practices remain a consistent part of your routine. It's about creating a balance that allows you to manage worldly responsibilities while nurturing your spiritual life. The devil's strategy relies on overwhelming you with the immediacy and urgency of worldly matters. By keeping you in a constant state of busyness or worry, he hopes to diminish your spiritual resilience. Over time, this relentless focus on worldly issues can lead to spiritual fatigue, where you might feel disconnected from your faith and more vulnerable to negative influences. Being vigilant means actively countering these distractions. This might involve simplifying your schedule, setting clear boundaries, and making conscious choices about how you spend your time. Incorporating moments of stillness and reflection throughout your day can help you stay grounded and attuned to your spiritual needs. Regularly revisiting your spiritual goals and commitments can also serve as a reminder of what truly matters. Moreover, surrounding yourself with a supportive faith community can be a powerful defense against distractions. Engaging with others who share your spiritual values provides encouragement and accountability, helping you stay focused on your spiritual growth. Together, you can create a network of support that reinforces your commitment to your faith. In essence, Understanding the devil's strategy of distraction allows you to take proactive measures to safeguard your spiritual well-being. By recognizing and addressing the distractions that pull you away from your faith, you can maintain a strong and vibrant connection with God. Prioritize your spiritual practices. Stay vigilant and let your faith be the guiding force in your life. 5. The Importance of Faith and Community Faith is more than just a belief system. It's a dynamic force that shapes your life. It grounds you in trust in God's goodness, wisdom, and sovereignty. Faith enables you to navigate through uncertainty and adversity with courage, knowing that God is with you. Dolores Cannon often highlighted the power of collective energy in her teachings. Being part of a faith community provides essential support, accountability, and shared wisdom. This collective support helps you persevere through challenges and strengthens your spiritual journey. Faith acts as your inner compass, guiding you through life's ups and downs. It provides a sense of purpose and direction, helping you to make decisions aligned with your spiritual values. When faced with trials, your faith reminds you that you are never alone and that divine support is always available. This inner strength can transform fear into resilience and doubt into determination. Community plays a pivotal role in nurturing and sustaining your faith. Engaging with others who share your beliefs creates a network of encouragement and understanding. In a faith community, you find companions who walk the spiritual path alongside you, offering prayers, advice, and a listening ear when needed. This sense of belonging and shared purpose can be incredibly uplifting, especially during tough times. Accountability within a community ensures that you stay true to your spiritual commitments. When you are surrounded by people who encourage you to grow and challenge you to deepen your faith, it fosters a sense of responsibility and motivation. They can help you stay focused on your spiritual goals and remind you of the importance of maintaining your spiritual practices. Moreover, the wisdom shared within a community can greatly enrich your spiritual journey. Learning from the experiences and insights of others can provide new perspectives and deepen your understanding of your faith. Group studies, discussions, and worship sessions allow for the exchange of ideas and collective spiritual growth. Dolores Cannon emphasized that the collective energy of a group can amplify individual efforts. When people come together with a common spiritual focus, their combined energy creates a powerful force for good. This synergy can enhance your spiritual practices, making them more impactful and transformative. 
In essence, faith and community are intertwined, each strengthening the other. Your personal faith grounds you, while the community supports and amplifies your spiritual journey. By embracing both, you create a robust foundation for navigating life's challenges and experiencing the fullness of your spiritual potential. 6. Practical Application of God's Word Let's explore practical ways to apply the teachings and promises of the Bible in your daily life. Start by regularly reading and meditating on Scripture, focusing on its teachings about love, forgiveness, wisdom, and guidance. Incorporate Scripture into your prayers by declaring God's promises and seeking His guidance and protection, especially during challenging times. The Bible offers numerous verses that reassure us of God's presence, faithfulness, and promises. To integrate Scripture into your routine, allocate specific times each day for Bible reading and reflection. Participate in group studies or discussions to deepen your understanding of Scripture and gain insights from others. Live out biblical principles in your interactions by showing love, kindness, and forgiveness to others, reflecting the teachings of Jesus. By applying Scripture consistently, you strengthen your faith and develop a deeper relationship with God. This practical approach equips you to navigate life's complexities with divine wisdom and love, transforming your perspective and guiding your actions. Chosen ones, you have a secret weapon that Satan does not want you to discover. Inspired by Dolores Cannon's teachings, we understand that the Word of God and your spiritual awareness are powerful tools against negative forces. By recognizing the tactics used to weaken your faith and using the Word of God as your shield and sword, you can stand firm against any attack. Remember, you are not alone. Surround yourself with a supportive faith community, stay vigilant against distractions, and always turn to the Bible for guidance and strength. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our Balance Journey channel for more insightful content on spiritual growth and empowerment. Don't forget to comment below to share your thoughts and experiences, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to help us reach more people with this empowering message. Until next time, take care and stay blessed.